Hello, my name is Rolly, ZO1BQD. Now recently I've been, as we've been travelling around South Island, uh, I've met up with a very good friend of mine, ZL3SV, Gary. Now Gary's an ex-broadcast engineer, uh, the same as I am. And uh, in fact, uh, Gary still uh, does uh, quite a bit of uh, commercial broadcast engineering. And in inevitably the conversation gets around to uh, ham radio, He's a ham radio operator, as, as I am. And uh, we started talking about linear amplifiers. I tell you what, I'll let Gary tell the story for us. Okay, okay. well, what do we have here, Gary? I mean, okay. it looks like a big orange <clears throat> box. It's a good thing if you need one. Now, this is a one kilowatt uh, linear amplifier that I built up a few years ago. And if you have a look in the top here, this is the control drawer. And it, um, this doesn't have a switch on it that switches the, uh, the whole rig off because this only has 12 volts in here. And uh, there's a, uh, here this is the control system. This is the, an SWR on the output of the uh, linear. And this is an LDG tuner which tunes the input to the tube. And therefore I don't have to have a separate circuit for uh, tuning that in. Now... If I turn that on, and it's uh, if I pull out another drawer, for example, here, um, when I turn it on, there's a light comes on, and it will tell me which drawer is open, and it won't allow the um, the amplifier to run. And that's one of the things with building uh, tube amplifiers is there's such high voltage inside <laughs> that the first thing you do is you put in all the protection switches so you can't be tempted to open it while it's going. The other thing is down here we've got digital meters that will read HT voltage, HT amps, uh, it measures uh, grid current, uh, grid voltage, measures the control voltage of the uh, switching system here and also measure, measures filament voltage so there is two separate wires that go to the filaments there's a bridge and there is a uh, variable resistor for calibration so that there is exactly 7.4 volts across the actual tube itself and some folks will uh, think that they've got it back at the transformer not realizing that when you're using that sort of current to light yes. the filaments up you've got a lot of voltage drop Indeed. unless you are using some sufficiently big uh, cables and you can see here to link to the transformer what I've done here is I've used welding cable uh, plugs and sockets and that way that just plugs into this deck here which has got the transformer um, in it for uh, the filament transformer so I'll just turn that off um, and again it's got a ceramic tube in the back there um, I've over engineered everything these are parts from uh, transmitters that we've worked on over the years mm -hmm. and uh, I've made the amplifier up out of parts that we had available. So here we've got a, a very very big and variable inductor here we've got a uh, sorry capacitor mm -hmm. here we've got a variable inductor and it's got a counter on it and uh, down at the bottom here where I've got the knob off this is a vacuum variable capacitor which mm -hmm. is 20 to 2000 picks. Gary and I both uh, come from a uh, commercial broadcasting uh, background and uh, Gary's still involved and I'm involved in a little way now that I'm retired but uh, all this uh, equipment uh, is readily available really when uh, when stations, uh, commercial stations get decommissioned and so on like that. Yes. Uh, m many times uh, this uh, sort of gear gets thrown out, doesn't it? And, and uh, the likes of the tube, that's got a brand new tube in it, but I do have uh, two or three spares, and mm. these are from transmitters where they're no longer performing at their rating, and therefore they change the tubes, but for amateur use, they've still got a huge amount of life oh, left yes. in it. Yes, I mean, they get down to about 85% efficient yeah, before you throw exactly. them out, That's they? exactly and, it, uh, yep. and, uh, So, you know, they've still got a, a yep. good lot of going. Uh, and you can see the transformer. Out. There's the high-tension transformer down the bottom. That weighs 60 kg. Mm. And the reason for the big transformer is that if you've got a transformer that becomes a very low impedance uh, to the mains, it means that you're using the mains power as your regulator. Yeah. 
So there's only 18 microfarads of capacity on the HT. Oh, really? But because it's such a big transformer, yeah. there's very little voltage drop in the efficiency mm. of the transformer. Yeah. Uh, and of course you can see the capacitors on the side there. Uh, yes, it's running about 5,200 5, volts on HT. The ratings of the capacitor is about 11,000 volts. And the reason for that is it gives you that headroom for your capacitors. Yep, it's yep, like yep. anything. If you run it well below its rating, you increase the reliability. And all of this is very, very cleverly designed, uh, Gary, I might say, into a mechanics... Uh, tool chest. Tool chest, isn't Yes, exactly. It? Yes. Exactly. And, that's, and uh, that, that's what I find. Uh, and of course, you can lock it. You've got a thing here that, that uh, yep. this one, the control drawer, is, um, doesn't have the lock on it. But all the rest of it, the you turn the key and, and you can't get into it. So that's an extra safety so feature. It's mechanically locked as well as interlocked and yes. some of that. Uh, yes. all, all of these are uh, obviously smack of your uh, commercial uh, yes. <laughs> endeavours. Yes. Uh, yes, exactly. And then that sure. just uh, closes in there and yeah. uh, away you go. And on the back, it's got the grills to let all the, the air goes in underneath the amplifier because the yeah. coolest air in the room, of course, is right at ground level yeah. and it blows it out the, the back. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's the setup. So I'm just in the process at the moment of installing this uh, relay. And at the moment it does 80 through to 10 metres. And I'm going to install that uh, relay shortly with this one of these door knob capacitors and a coil. And that will get switched into circuit uh, for 160 metres. Right. Brilliant.